What's up everyone, GamePlayer2014 here. Um, we're releasing some Far Harbor news for Fallout 4. Maybe not releasing, uh, more along the lines of reporting it. And basically, I haven't made any Far Harbor news because there's really no real news to report. When you got a new map, you got, you know, it's the basic, it's the basic shish kebab, basically. Uh, basically, uh, new quests, new factions, fucking new weapons and bullshit. So, yeah, it's the same old shebang. The whole new sh- or, uh, the whole- t the same old shebang, pretty much. And, uh, basically it says everything has already been released by everybody, so. Well, it releases this Friday. It's gonna be based on Maine's Bar Harbor. Uh, you're gonna have two new guns. One looks like a new assault rifle, one looks like a new rifle. Possibly a sniper or I don't know, interchangeable. You might have a shotgun in there. Definitely at least one melee weapon. It's a fishing gaff. I drew a picture of it. The very best picture. It deserves to be in the Smithsonian. So uh, now we have the new enemies here. Uh, or at least the uh, uh, animals of some sort. Uh, you can have a new shrimp like Mirelurk sort of thing. Probably gonna be like a Mirelurk queen. You see that in the trailer. A new angler fish. It's gonna be like a fish death claw. Uh, the ghouls, it looks like. The ghouls look like the old classic ghouls. If you've ever, if anybody noticed uh, that, the, the ghouls look like the f original Fallout 3 and New Vegas ghouls. Creepy as looking hell. So that's pretty neat. I like to have them ghouls back. Fuck these new ones. Fuck them in particular. Uh, required to get this is you're gonna have to do the story driven Nick Valentine quests. They all need to be done. So if you don't have any of them done, do them now. Uh, you're gonna get a new companion. It's the old guy, basically. So it's the old man. Uh, he's supposed to be a tour guide too. So it's gonna be an old man. So have fun with that. I remember back in the good old days of war time. Shut up! I'm just killing this damn shrimp thing. You know, that's, I hope it doesn't turn out to be like. Actually, it'd be pretty pretty hilarious if it turned out to be like that. You just start. You just sat down. You know, I mean, you're being attacked by this freaking Myra queen of a shrimp. And then, you know, he's just sitting down reciting old Vietnam stories. Now, that would be pretty hilarious. Useless, but hilarious. Uh, it's going to be releasing for 25 bucks. There's going to be um, a moderate amount of quests. It's going to be a large-ass map. So I, I forgot to put that. Large-ass map. So it's going to be a large-ass map. Uh, definitely new factions. I have them listed here. You're, you're, you have the town, the sense, and the children of Adam. Uh... And then new workshop items have been confirmed. Now the rest is a speculation. New workshop items, new recipes and food, new radiant quests. And if you want to prepare for it, here's your list here. This is, the stars are required. Whatever's not starred is not required. It's recommended. Recommended. Now keep that in mind. Recommended. Big word. So, required. Overseer's Guardian. Located in Vault 81. By that merchant. I mean, uh, as soon as you go down to the vault... Uh, th you go straight, you get a left, you either go left or go right, go right, uh, follow that path, and it's going to be on your right hand side. I think that's where the shop is. You're going to talk to the ugly looking chick there, you're going to bang her, bang her in the head with a baseball bat and steal it from her corpse. No, you got to buy it off of her, if you, you kill her you ain't going to get it. Be cool though. So, you're going to need at least 10,000 caps. Now, what's recommended at the minimum is you're going to need 10,000 caps going into Far Harbor. So, you're probably going to Vault even with 20, with 20,000 caps. Uh, recommended Wounding Plasma Sniper Rifle. Uh, rec required the Limitless Potential Up 77, max that out, make it a sniper rifle. It is overpowered as all hell once you turn that thing into a sniper. Bang 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 you know it's just constant. So you can release a constant stream of uh is that an old Ford Coupe? I don't know, it's just a fucking minivan. That sucks. Uh X01 power armor required. Take that with you. Fusion cores. Forgot to put that on the list. You're gonna need fusion cores. Uh maybe a sh actually I probably should erase this. Uh, I, w I recommended, I would recommend taking like a shitty, shitty pipe rifle with you. So, I would recommend taking a pipe rifle with you. If it's legendary, probably take it with you. Like mine's a wound, or mine was a violent, violent, mine used to be a violent automatic pipe rifle. Now it's just a violent pipe rifle. 
Uh, missile launcher is required, or any explosives. I didn't put that on there, so you're going to need explosives. Uh, big boy for mini nukes. You never know if you're going to need a mini nuke or not. I'd take one. Fuckload of ammo, at least a thousand rounds plus for each thing. Uh, and you're going to need a hell of a lot of stems right away and rad axe, or at least the ingredients to do it. Uh, just, just cook them up and it's easy. Just go to a chem station and you really don't need all that much. Stems right away is easy to create and you don't really need rad axe. Find a settlement and create yourself a, uh, whatchamacallit, or find something, like a hazmat suit, maybe. I don't know. I never really use Radex. I think I use, like, maybe five or six bottles of Radex total in the game total. Uh, uh, uh required. Any ghoul slayer or legendary weapon. So, uh, the reason why is, if you look at the trailer, there's a hell of a lot of ghouls, so, you gotta take some with you. Melee weapons is a requirement, because you never know if you're gonna run out of ammo. Uh, maybe I recommend I recommend the 2077 World Series baseball bat maxed out with aluminum and saw blades. It punts Team Rocket into the atmosphere so they won't come back down. Ensures Team Rocket's demise. Team Rocket's blessing a boy. Right into the fucking sun. Uh, required sniper rifle. Now, if you do turn your overseer's guardian into a sniper rifle, uh, this is well, then there you go. Then you got your sniper. Uh, I, I'd recommend just turning this into the most powerful assault, well, main rifle. I'd make this the most powerful rifle you can, with the advanced receiver or whatever. Uh, recommended a two times sneak attack, the one that does damage. I think it's instigating. So if you have the instigating sniper rifle, or an instigating 50 caliber sniper rifle, take that with you. Level 50 or higher, if you're in your 40s, boost up to level 50. I recommend being up there with level 50. Uh, it's right in the middle there. So, you know, nothing's too strong, but nothing's too weak. So, boom. And you're not going to get as overpowered killed as much as you were, like, maybe level 100. Well, I've been overpowered killed multiple times by super mutant warlords that are level 91. And I'm level 91, so it's fucking stupid. Uh, recommended but not required explosive 10 millimeters, silver shroud armor modified. Keep that in mind, if you saved Kent Connolly... He can modify your silver shroud armor to something that's way overpowered. So, uh, it, uh, it's better than combat armor, if you ask me. If you don't, if you find combat, heavy combat armor, it's better than that. Uh, freefall armor, I require, I'm requiring the freefall armor. I'm requiring any powerful armor that goes underneath it. So this is, uh, like a vault suit or something. I better put that there. Like... I don't fucking know. I don't even know cursive no more. I like a vault suit where you can wear armor over it. Let's just suit get over it. So you're gonna want the powerful armor, you know, like a vault suit or something. Um, the thing out here, right? Reginald suit only required only if you have low charisma for male, and I think the female's version is the Adele Adela's dress or something. Uh, it's only if you have low, like I said, low charisma, it's required, uh, recommended, though. Just in case you have to save somebody and, you know, you have to have more than 10 charisma and your bobbleheads ain't fucking working sometimes, it's just best to carry it on. Best to carry it on you at all times. Uh, anything charisma related, take with you. If you can fit it. So, there you go, that's, there's how you prepare for Far Harbor. And what's been released for the news, as far as I know. So, there you go. See you.